very easy. You can always just run away. Ah. Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show new players, beginners at the game, how to get incredibly rich. We're here at the inn event, which is uh, really early on. You want to make sure you get everything from this event. We did not have enough room for the spurs, so we are going to have to come back. This is why in the last video I told you guys when I said the best possible start, you need to be saving your energy for events like this. Once you start this event, things can kind of slowly go down. Once you start this event, the, uh, the timer starts. And so you need to be able to come back and forth to it. Um, and let me actually make sure that's true because they might have changed it. You can see we got a full inventory. We got some hunter gear. The hunter gear is purple, which makes it look really good. But it's actually not nearly as good as it looks like it is. So... Um, we're going to go ahead and keep looting. Here's the reason why. When you loot, you're going to be able to stack, okay? And it's really important um, to to get like as, many, as much of those stacks at 20 as possible. Because otherwise, when you come back and you try to get more stuff, you're carrying the same slot that you would have carried otherwise. So we're going in here. Now, one of the things that's lame about Craft of Survival is you can't put stuff from your inventory into the map uh it's like it, you just have to delete it which is really dumb um okay so we are not going to talk to this guy because that way we guarantee a oh, veteran sword okay that veteran sword is really good okay really good oh and this actually is not bad ah! oh my gosh it scared the crap out of me <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting some good stuff from this event. Um, we are going to wait. You can see we have that um, wand. So you can shoot a fireball any direction we want. We're not going to... Wow. That was so loud in my ear. Hopefully it wasn't as loud for you guys. Um, okay, so this is a really good deal. Okay, for those of you who want... Um, an advantage in this game, $2, it's a very good deal. It's like $2 and it's going to give you that extra backpack. Now, if you watched the last video, your goal is to get the biggest backpack. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. This actually helps you get that too, because it gives you that uh, hundred coins. So this is going to give you a huge advantage in the game because you're not going to have to go back and forth. Um, but let's see, let's see what we have available to us. So um, let's see if it puts it on a timer. Whether it puts it on a timer or not, it's not going to disappear because I didn't finish the quest, okay? So we'll, we'll figure out by the end of this episode, but don't, don't finish the quest. You probably can finish the quest if you want to, but we're not going to. We've got lots of energy saved up. We're going to be able to run back and forth. We're just going to put all of this stuff away. Put all... This is exile clothing. You know what? We could just wear the exile clothing. This exile clothing is not that good. And then we're going to put all this hunter stuff in there, which the hunter stuff is not as good as it looks. Purple, you think, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's actually not that amazing, but that's okay. It's still good. It's still better than what we have so far. All right, I'm running out of room, so we need to upgrade some things. And right now we're, we're having the typical problem that a new player is going to have and that is that you don't have um, room to put things um, because you don't have chests. So we can upgrade. And actually, that's what we're going to do because it's not that expensive. And that gives us a lot more slots to work with. So put all that stuff. Upgrade again. Beautiful. We can also just, if, you're, if you don't have the stuff. Now, if you watched the video I did last time, you're going to see you need to be keeping your workbenches going, which is why I have all of this stuff. But if you're kind of feeling like, man, I don't, I don't um, have as much planks or stone blocks or iron bars, then it you can just build more chests right here. It's super cheap to create chests, and that's going to be your cheapest way early on. We'll organize our base a little bit later. Okay, so we got another chest. So this gives us more room, just in case I get more gear. I know I'm going to get a weapon. Okay, 
So we have put everything away. We have lots of energy to keep going back and forth. Uh, we're going to run in there and get one of those weapons pretty quickly, just in case we do get uh, attacked by something. And now we don't have anything on us. We do have our backpack, but we don't have anything on us. If you bought that backpack for two bucks, oh, you guys are already attacking me. Right, I'm gonna run and go grab that weapon. If I remember right, it is right here. Perfect, this sword is so OP. Oh my gosh, definitely don't need to be doing this. Okay, so we are looting everything and um, you can see there's gear, so we're gonna be putting that on, which gives us more space when we don't have those backpacks. And um, skill books are crucial in this game. We'll be talking about that a lot more later on. And then as you do this, go ahead and just keep using these um, notes and stuff so that they don't take up space in your inventory. All right, and uh, use the note. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the skill book, one-handed sword, great. I'm gonna apply the bow because out of anything, I'd rather use the bow and save that sword. That sword is really helpful uh, later on against bosses and stuff like that. So I'm gonna keep it, um, have as high durability as possible. So he's, he's complaining about not having the right tool, but honestly, my inventory is already full. So we are going to uh, leave again, even though we just came. Now, if you're doing this, as long as you're not talking to that guy, you got time. So if you want to save your energy, go ahead and walk home. Um, as long as you don't talk to that guy, no timer is going to start. Trader's Camp. This is another reason I've told you guys to save your energy. Um, you can see 26 energy to get there is a lot. Um, but we are going to run home right now. We might drop by the trader's camp actually. So we're gonna go here and this is where the skill books are, okay? You can see we've got one-handed, uh, critical damage increase when one-handed swords are used. That's gonna be really useful for us because I'm gonna show you guys in probably my next video the most efficient way to farm the green zones uh, and the yellow zones and that is going to come into play but it's not crucial it's not it's not that important and a lot of this gear is um not that important in the in the grand scheme of things but it is it is still helpful so okay now one of the ways to put things away make room is to just do this the danger with this is that you can end up needing something later and then not have it which can stink but um, and then we're going to go to workbenches. Now, one of the issues early on in this game that you're going to find is in order to upgrade things, you need a level two castle. But in order to get a level two castle, you need to complete the quest open for reconstruction, which basically you need a strong pickaxe for that. And in order to get that strong pickaxe, if you wanted to do it manually, you're going to need to be level 12 and you're gonna need a smelter. But in order to get a smelter, you need a level two castle. So it's like a circle uh, to where you can't do it really naturally. You wanna just, and, the, and the, the simple answer to that is just to follow the quest. If you follow the quest, you'll be okay. Okay, now we're gonna go back for the final time and we're going to get the stuff that we need or finish finish up the zone. And you can you don't have to buy that traveler set right now. It's, oh my gosh so loud every time it's available to you right here um, this turn up stoop is good it's a lot of healing but it's not it's not worth buying you can get that no problem the backpack is this is a very good deal for the backpack so and it looks like that's new actually it increases your stamina so it actually gives you more hit points by wearing that backpack uh, which is a really cool touch they added that since the global release um, I love that. Okay, so these flowers help you with healing later on, so it is useful to grab them. Um, all right. And you know what? I can get lots of trees and stuff later on, so I'm not going to worry about chopping the trees and the wood. 
Um, alright, where's the messenger from the academy? Alright, for a mage called Aiden. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, give a bandage. So I could uh, give him a bandage and help him out, but it looks like I don't have a bandage on me. Um, so it looks like he he was not very nice to my friend. I'm gonna. Um, why why is revenge for Aiden red and leave him to die? Not red. I feel like it's actually more gracious to uh, take him out of his pain. Um, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna skip so that I don't have to make either of those bad decisions. All right, return to the castle and talk to the rainy. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna click it on auto, make sure I've kind of picked everything up. There's the bandage we could have healed him. Okay, so I am going to walk back to the castle because my energy is now getting kind of low. Um, now, if I was a little bit more of an intermediate player, I would be definitely going to that trader's camp. That trader's camp is sometimes the best way, it might be the best way to get skill books, and skill books are gonna make you better, and that can never be taken away from you. It's gonna make a big difference in this game. So we do wanna do the trader's camp, but I'm so new to this, this new game, that this new account on this game, that I'm gonna wait. I need to wait a little bit longer, now it does have four hours there, so I could just wait until my energy goes up. I might actually still take advantage of this trader's camp. It depends how quickly I'm able to get a lot of those intermediate items that I need to trade with the trader's camp, because right now I'm so new, I don't have a lot of items to trade with them. So we're gonna walk home because in order to get a lot of those intermediate items, the main thing we need to do is get that pickaxe and open up the castle so that we can basically start the game. All right, guys. Well, I got home and I wasn't all right, home in this game, not home in the I've been home. Well, I've been kind of home. So anyways, I got home in here and a bunch of zombies attacked me and it had a pickaxe. So I realized that's basically that's the way you get the, your first pickaxe. The, that's not the way you're going to get pickaxes in the future, but uh, it was kind of easier than I, I thought it would be. So. You get the pickaxe from the zombie's body, make sure to loot their bodies. All right, and then we go in. This, guys, is the start of the game. And up until this point, all last video, I'm showing you guys some important things that you're gonna be doing over and over again. But this is really kind of where it all starts. All right. Oh, see, you do not wanna get hit by that skill. And that skill, and that skill. All right, I'm not, I'm not playing with this very well. All right, there's the boss, and I'm using my pickaxe, which I really shouldn't do. Okay, I should have had another weapon. And why I have a hunter belt on? What is happening here? Okay, this does not need to be my weapon right now. Okay, so uh, this is the throne room. And I need to fix it, which I will do this. I don't think I have the materials that I need for this. So um, we will go and get more materials, but this is pretty easy to do. And then we'll talk to this chick. Restore the throne. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll restore the throne. All right, well, we'll talk to her. Did you get hurt? Blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. Messenger of the Blue Fox. All right. Great. Let's talk later. Okay. So what we are doing now is we're going to put this pickaxe away. That pickaxe is important for later on. You do not want to use it right now. Should not have used it in that fight. Okay, we have cleared that out, and we've got new quests, which we're not really gonna worry about. And uh, this is something I didn't mention in the last video. This is obviously really good, getting these, you know, having your guy running uh, for 
an hour or two hours each day. Even if you're not really paying attention to the game, um, you guys have seen the way that I uh, clear out the uh, okay, the dig site. There we go. We're not going to worry about the dig site right now because what we need is we need wood and we need stone. And once we get the wood and stone we need, then we'll be able to unlock the throne and keep going with the, that. It's funny. There's this ghost there and they won't even talk to me until I restore the throne. I tell you what, guys, I told you in the last video and I will tell you probably a million more times having this. Um, having a character with high strength is a game changer for this game. You want to have a character with high strength. It is making the game so much easier. So these bosses, as long as you dodge their skills, they're actually kind of easier than your typical um, enemy because they just don't do any damage to you. So it's something to keep in mind. And once you get good at dodging their skills, they're pretty easy. Now another thing you need to know about this game is that every time you go to the green zone, there there can be a slightly different uh, variation. And knowing what those very, eventually you'll just know what all the variations are, but knowing what they are can, can let you know, like, should I go down into the cellar? Should I, you know, just farm it for the zone? How hard the enemies are? They're all roughly the same difficulty, but it's it's good to kind of keep that in mind. I ended up grabbing those bones anyways. Also, it is good to keep in mind that dogs um, slow you down. So dodging those skills can be a little bit harder when it comes to when it comes to dogs. So just something to keep in mind. Those antlers come into play later. It's good to get antlers. Man, there's a, there's a lot of tips to this game that are valuable. Obviously, y'all probably already saw that, but leveling up heals you. And I'm just putting all of it in strength. I know that that might seem kind of crazy, but for right now, that's the number one thing you want. Um, even I told you guys in the last video that having extra crit damage, and I think that will come into play later on. It does give you just a little bit more damage for like fighting bosses. It's good to put that stat in there. But when it comes to just clearing zones, Nothing beats the sheer beauty of strength. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to finish clearing this zone, though I would recommend you guys just anytime you go to a zone, you're already spending the energy. You might as well just clear it all the way out. And in this case, and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and run all the way home and uh, grab Volhasdale. I'm going to get some stone. Because I just want to finish the throne and show you guys the start of the game. Because we haven't really started the game on this account. And so I want to show you guys what to expect. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's another thing to keep in mind. You can dodge archer attacks. Very easy. All right, dodging archer attacks is very easy uh, because it's the same thing as everything else. It's just shooting in that range. So as long as you're moving and you kind of know where they're going to shoot, it's pretty easy to dodge their attacks.
All right, well, here's another tip for you guys. Uh, you can always just run away if uh, you fight something. I don't need to run away from these guys. a lot of excessive violence but if you needed to run away you can still just leave the zone and uh, that works out now it is very important that you do not bring that extra that better iron pickaxe when you come farm these zones all right i went ahead and got the iron and the stone and this stone just because all right now i'm actually dying of starvation which dying of starvation is not that big of a deal as long as you do it at the right time. If you're at, you know, if you're at this zone, uh, you're gonna lose. Uh, it says items will be lost upon death. Whereas if you're at home, your items are not lost upon death so you can die as much as you want and it just resets your hunger. So eventually you're gonna have lots of food and you're not gonna wanna just sit here dying because it's annoying to have to, you know, come get your stuff again. But in this case, um, we are going to just let ourselves die. And that's just going to reset our hunger and thirst meters. Create. The throne room is complete. All right. Archon restored. Lost expedition. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to skip it, skip all. And perfect, we have accomplished, and we're level 12. I wanted to leave the area before I died, just in case that part is bad, but I'm gonna die right over here. Looks like we got another reward for the 20 minute mark. It's beautiful, goes to our vault. And then we're gonna come get our body, and we're gonna hit take all, and it's as if nothing ever happened. Now the throne is complete. We now have a level one castle. I gotta go get more wood. That is super annoying to upgrade their level two, but get, building level two is gonna be really important because building level two is going to allow you to get this smelting workshop, which allows you to start getting iron bars. Iron bars are crucial in this game because they're going to allow you to start making some of these other weapons really i would say the makeshift sword is going to be i'm going to show you guys how to use the, how to use the makeshift sword in a way that's going to last you like 20 green zones maybe even more than that and uh, and so one sword two iron bars is going to last you two iron bars and two wooden planks is going to last you 20 or more green zones and you will literally never get touched. It's a very powerful trick. I'm gonna show you guys that in another video. Um, but for right now, I've gotta go, annoyingly, gotta go get that extra wood. Um, you can also start getting the iron pickaxe and the iron axe because you need, again, iron bars to make those tools. So the smelter is really important and in order to build a smelter, you need a level two castle. So in the next episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to farm 30 green zones with two iron bars and you will just get so rich in this game. But in order to do that, you gotta get to this stage. You've gotta get to a level two. So I'm gonna go get that five wood and then I will show you guys how to do that. All right guys, see you next time.